Can you tell the difference between an alpaca and a llama? Follow along on today's episode as we find out more about these fabulous furry friends. We are here at the alpaca loom in Paul. How's it everyone? How's it? Got a glorious winter's day here in Cape Town. Kind of feels like summer, it's really warm today. It is warm today. The weather the last couple of days and week has been freezing and it's been really rainy and really cold. So we thought we'd just come and enjoy the nice weather. Indeed. So what we decided to do is come find some uh, furry uh, subjects to film. We chose some very cute models to do some filming today. The Alpaca Loom is a working farm located just outside of Paul and close to the popular Fairview Wines. The property offers a gift shop, petting zoo and coffee shop with panoramic views of the surrounding mountains. The farm plays home to a wide variety of animals, and visitors can expect to see sheep, geese, chickens, <laughs> goats, camels, and let's not forget the llamas and the alpacas. These two animals are closely related in similarity. They both thrive in a herd environment, and the most noticeable differences are that llamas have longer faces and banana-shaped ears. They also stand about 1.2 meters tall at the shoulder. Alpacas, by comparison, have much shorter noses and smaller ears. Their average height is only one meter at the shoulder and they're more fluffy in appearance. <laughs> Can you spot the difference yet? A trip to the alpaca loom is an affordable, fun-filled outing for the whole family, complete with on-site coffee shop offering a delicious selection of cakes and pastries to enjoy. The various seating options overlook the petting zoo and kids' play area, making it the perfect place for parents to unwind whilst admiring the view and taking in the beauty of the surrounding farms. The petting area is of course the main attraction. Entrance is only 20 rand per person for the entire day. And if you want to feed the animals, don't forget to grab your bag of specialized feed from the shop for an additional 20 rand. Oh, it's nice. Mm. Mm. You got top deck? One for you, and one for Bourneville. And what do they eat, you may ask? Well, we'll let the experts explain. Uh, so our farm is on dry, dry feed, uh, so the main feed they get is in the troughs, uh, that is oat hay. They don't eat the straw itself, it's only the seeds and the flowers that they offer. Uh -huh. So this is the petting zoo feed, so there's not real uh, nutritional value to this. Uh, so we have some oats, harbour, ground up corn, there's a little bit of lucerne in here, and uh, then some salt as well. These guys are from the Andes originally, yeah. so it's, it's a bit warmer here than what they are used to. Uh, so the salt gets them to drink more water than they, they would normally wow, drink. Wow, amazing. Did you know that camels are from the same family as both alpacas and llamas? A group of animals that were domesticated more than 5,000 years ago. Whilst llamas and camels are mostly used as pack animals, alpacas, on the other hand, have been raised for their superior quality wool. Oh hi, look at this cool jersey. And they even make socks here. Check how cool these are. As the name suggests, the alpaca loom produces a wide variety of products using the natural alpaca fibers. Here a group of highly skilled weavers weave the delicate hand-spun fibers into a large variety of products, like scarves, socks, jerseys and beanies. Their wool is finer than cashmere and said to be many times warmer than sheep wool, making it a sought-after commodity. Okay. 
Did you know that alpacas come in 12 different natural colors, like white, fawn, brown, gray, and black? The talented weavers can combine the fibers in varying quantities to produce over 100 different shades of natural color without introducing any dye. <laughs> Dude, man, look at him. Oh, <laughs> he's very cute. Hello. Oh, the tour is here at two o'clock. Indeed. Right here. Okay, cool. I've got the stickers, stickers for, for the tour, and this is food for the okay, cool. Let's go alpacas. Play. For those wanting to know more about the inner workings of the farm, we highly recommend the barn tour. The tour takes place on the farm every hour and is incredibly educational and very informative. If you visit during March to May, the tour will allow you the opportunity to meet their resident herd along with the mothers and newborn babies called Kriyas. Our biggest piece of advice when visiting would be to leave yourself ample time to explore and experience the world through the eyes of a child. We have found that one can easily lose track of time when having this much fun. The Alpaca Loom is just one of the many must-visit locations if you're ever in Paul. We highly recommend a visit to this affordable and family-friendly activity. A trip here is guaranteed to leave a smile on everyone's faces. <laughs> if you made it this far, we love you! You want to see more? You know what to do!